Yes. Good morning, children. Yes. Open to page number. Open to page one eight eighteen. We have started a new topic yesterday. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Open to page number eighteen. We started. No talking now. Nobody is going to talk. Open to page eighteen. We have started a new topic. More nouns. Yes. So we started with a new topic yesterday. That is more nouns. In more nouns, yesterday we completed the countable nouns and uncountable nouns. So what are countable nouns? Yes, the nouns that can be counted. Yes, the nouns that can be counted are countable nouns, and the nouns that cannot be counted are uncountable nouns. For example, countable nouns. Example for countable nouns, we have the benches, the chairs, the tables. Okay, then the flowers, books. Keys, all these come under countable noun. Uncountable noun is something that we cannot count. The number of stars in the sky, stars. Okay, then you have the rain, water, oil, hair. The head on the hair on your head, you cannot count. Okay, why? Because there are numerous number. So such type are called as uncountable noun. Nobody is going to talk. Next, we have when we use when the countable noun begins. If it is a singular, we use a or an. And when it is an uncountable noun, we use more, few, little, some, many, less, enough. We use such words when it is an uncountable noun. Okay, so this was what we completed in yesterday's class. Now open to page number eighteen and take a pencil in your hand and we will solve the A part. We shall solve the A part. Now what does it say? Do the underlined nouns in these sentences need a or an? Insert a slash. Or add a or an where needed. Now, what you need to do? The words underline are in a singular noun. Or, okay, you need to write whether this singular noun requires a or an. Now, the first one. Kavya is studying to become pilot. Does it require a, a or an? Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. Now, the first one. Yes, they are underlined oh. as pilot. Okay, you have to take this, the slash and write a. Oh. They have told you to put a slash. Insert a slash and write a. Oh. A oh, pilot. Yes, sir. Yes. See the board. See the see the board. Look at the board. A comes always before a noun. So a violet. Second one. Have you seen dash the rhino? A rhino. Yes. Yes. The second one will be a slash rhino. Have you seen a rhino? I had toast with butter and jam. Now they have underlined three words. Listen, listen. They have underlined three words. Now, which from the three words or which out of the three words should I insert an A? Yes, I will put it for a toast. I had. A toast. Can I put a butter and a jam? Can I insert a butter or a jam? No. 
No, why? Why? Why cannot I put a butter or oh, gel? Why? Why I cannot put like this? Now you are giving me butter and you are using jam. Why cannot I put a oh, butter or oh, jam? Why cannot I insert it here? Oh, yeah? Yes, because it is uncountable. Because it is an uncountable noun. So I don't use a. Uh, when it is a single noun, when it is a countable noun, we use a. Uh. But what should I use when it is a uh, uncountable noun? Which are the words I can use? I said when it is an uncountable, which are the words I can use when it is an uncountable? When it is a countable noun or a singular noun, I use a or an. But now butter is uncountable, jam is uncountable. So what can I use here? Some. Some. Enough. Much. More. Little. What and? You all are wrong. Okay. Now, so the third one I'll say a oh, toast. Next. It's cloudy. Will you carry dash umbrella? Why an umbrella? Why, why, why an umbrella? Yes, because this vowel you begins with the vowel. So I will write an umbrella. Number five. The city was full of dust after the storm. Sorry. The city was full of dust after the dust storm. Can I use a or an? Okay, why I cannot use sigil? Yes, it's an uncountable now. Mahika, it's not a. Dust is uncountable. You cannot count the dust. So you can't put an a uh or an there. So you just need to leave it blank. Okay, you need to see the underlined word. The underlined word is dust. So it is not a countable noun. It is uncountable. So you don't use a uh or an. Most of you are saying, all of you are wrong whoever use a uh or an. Some of one, one of you also said the. The also is wrong. Because it's an uncountable noun, they are giving you the question, insert a or an. Okay? Now, the next one. See the B part. Note the nouns in bold. Circle the correct words within brackets. Jiro wants to add many, some, any sugar in her tea. Some, many, some, many. Not any, it is some. Some, some. not any, some. Grandma visit, if grandma invited many, much any friends for lunch? Many, many yes, very good. Many, yes, yes, many. Grandma invited many friends for lunch. Is there many of you enough petrol in the car? Yes, enough. 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 
Is there enough petrol in the car? I'm off you. I'm off you. Now four, five, six. What? Yes. Put the bracket and write H W. Off you is wrong. Whoever said off you for the fourth one is wrong. Less. Yes. Less. Yes. yes. Okay. Now number four, five, and six. You are going to do it as your homework. Next, page number nineteen. Pay attention. Some nouns name the amount or form something. We use these expressions for them. Now, if I go to a shop and I tell you to buy sugar, so what will you say? Can you give me one liter of sugar? One kilogram. One kilogram. That is, I'll say, give me one kg of sugar, or I'll say, give me two kgs of sugar. Okay. So anything that you want to buy, sugar, wheat, flour, jowar. Okay. Or if you want to buy any pulses, you use the word kgs. And if I want to buy milk, I will send you to the market and then say. Go and buy. Go and buy three. What? How will this milk measure? Yes, milk. Any liquid? Yes, any liquid that is there. Milk, water, petrol, whatever is there in a liquid form, it is measured in liters. Okay. Then I ask you to buy. Bread. Okay, this is bread. I'll ask you to buy bread. This is. These are all bread. So what do you call this? A loaf. Yes, it's called as a loaf of bread. Give me buy a loaf of bread, or I'll say buy two loaves of bread. That means what? I'm not saying single bread piece. I'm talking about the entire bread loaf. Have you seen a bread loaf? Yes, yes. So the entire packet, yes, the entire packet of the bread slices is called a loaf. Give me buy, give me a loaf of bread, or give me listen, turn up your mic. Shreya, Pia. Ma'am, I cannot hear you properly. Turn off your mic, everyone. Now, if I ask you to go to a market and ask you to buy a loaf of bread, you are going to buy one loaf. That means many bread pieces. But what is one bread? This is your bread. What is this one piece called? Yes, it is called as slice. One piece or two piece of bread is called a slice. But many slices in a packet is called a loaf. Clear, children? Yes. Okay. Next, you invite me to your house and you give me. Tea. What do I call this tea? Yes, I'll say, give me a cup of tea. Yes, yes. If you give me a cup of tea, I'll say, give me a cup of tea or give me a cup of coffee. But if I say, give me water, can I say, give me a cup of water? Yes, I cannot say a cup of water. I need to say glass of water. Give me a yes, give me a glass of water. But if I ask for tea or coffee, if I ask for tea or coffee, I say give me a cup of tea or coffee. Yes, give me a cup of tea or coffee. Then. See the same way. Whatever examples I'm giving you, you have it in your book. For sugar, you say one kilogram of sugar or two kilogram of sugar. That is called as 
pages. Okay, the next you have a bar of chocolate. Most of you must have eaten dairy milk. You have seen this chocolate like this. You have, it is clear, rectangular shape, and it is like this. So, your dairy milk chocolate is like this. What is it called? Yes, most of your chocolates that you have is in a square shape. So, it is called as bar of chocolate. Then, a bag of rice. Okay, you can see you have this bag like this and you have a rice on it. So, what is it called? Bag of rice. Yes, it's called a bag of rice. A slice of cake. Now, I give you an example of slice of bread. Bread also is called a slice. Cake also is called a slice. One piece of bread or cake or cheese is called as slice. Okay? If I have to say, I had two slices of bread today for breakfast. Two slices means what? Two pieces of bread. That means I had two slices of bread for breakfast. Or I can say I had two slices of bread and a cup of tea. Slice of bread and cup of tea for breakfast. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes. Then, I told you about loaf of bread. The entire bread slices in a packet is called a loaf of bread. Then, pinch of salt. You have salt here. Okay? And there is no salt. So, what will you do? If you take little salt and put it in the food, that is called as pinch of salt. Okay? If you take little salt and put it in the food, it's called as a pinch of salt. Cup of tea also I told you. Then the next one is bowl of curd. This is my bowl and I have curd. What is curd? Curd means what? The heat. Yes, the heat. So, what is the Yes, it's the Yes, the heat. So, if the curd is in a bowl, it's called as a bowl of curd. Then, can of juice. Is it clear? So, all these have certain expressions or certain form of calling it something. Now, see. Uncountable nouns, a slice of cheese, a cup of coffee, a heap of sand, a bottle of milk, a piece of furniture, a, cup, a cake of soap. Now, see your soap. Soap. Now, this is your soap. What is this piece of soap called? This piece of soap is known as a cake of soap. It is not what you have to eat. It is not the cake what you have to eat. A piece of soap is called as a cake of soap. Then a crate of eggs. Crate means what? You have you have an egg crate. Okay? Then you have all these eggs here. Okay, what is this called? All these eggs together are called as crate. Crate of eggs. Then a glass of juice. A plate of rice. Give me a plate of rice. That means when I have rice in my plate, I call it as plate of rice. So these are called for an uncountable nouns. Clear all of you? Yes. Now see the C1, you are going to do it as your activity. They have given you a C1. Look at the C1. Look at these pictures. Make sentences about the items using correct quantity of expressions for them. That you are going to do it. Like how we are done now? Cup of glass, uh, sorry, cup of coffee, a glass of water, a bag of rice. The same way you are going to give it for these pictures in the C part. 
Yes. Clear, everyone. Yes. Okay. Now, just go through it quickly. We have almost completed this topic. Just go through it quickly before we go to another next topic. If you have any doubts, just ask me first. Yes. Go through it quickly, children, and let me know if you have any doubt. Countable and uncountable now. Yes, yes, yes.